if you want to save the world, you should consider also to become a physicist, engineer, or some hard scientist, uh, if you think that, that this is uh, what you like, because there is a bright future for you and you can really contribute to, to this world. So my organization, which is International Particle Physics Outreach Group, is specialized in uh, outreach and uh, education in uh, particle physics and related sciences to all kinds of audiences, uh, globally, all ages. So we are really trying to show that uh, particle physics is beautiful and it can uh, explain uh, how our world is working. I think it's quite uh, obvious to everybody that uh, innovations and new technologies are at heart uh, of the solutions for SDGs. But what is much less obvious to the biggest part of the population is that uh, these innovations and new technologies result and will result from fundamental research, from basic science and especially from physics. Physics is uh, underlying, it's a basis for all other natural or hard sciences. Worldwide in general, uh, the interest of uh, young generation to engage in STEM studies is decreasing. And uh, this is obviously a very contraproductive trend if we want to solve SDGs where we of course need new generation of uh, STEM specialists, girls and boys, who will tackle, uh, who will create the new technologies and innovations for us. If you want to save the world, you should consider also to become a physicist, engineer, or some hard scientist, uh, if you think that, that this is uh, what you like, because there is a bright future for you and you can really contribute to, to this world.